Oh my, it couldn't be closer, right? The Dow is up just one point at the moment. Oh, that was quick. It just turned negative one point. All right, the S&P up 12. Those are records. All right, we've got less than four minutes to go. Here we go with our countdown closer. Don't be fooled, he says, by the glitz and glamour of momentum or so-called story stocks. Today's countdown closer says he's got some milk toast money makers that'll give your portfolio some real pop. He's Jordan Kimmel, Leventhal Global Advisors, Chief Equity Strategist with us now. All right, what do you mean by glitz and glamour stocks to stay away from? Okay, well, Liz, the point is is that you need a margin of safety. I'm constructive on the market, but the fact is there's something called price to sales. So when the price to sales is really elevated, what you have there is a lot of hope, a lot of good wishes, and if anything derails, there's a big air pocket below you. So, you know, Labenthal, I believe, we believe in eating well and sleeping well, and, and you need to do both. And again, the margin of safety and the high price to sales they're just not there, so we want you to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so Beyond Meat, CRISPR, MicroStrategy are examples of stocks you say are glamorous, but you might want to turn away from them and turn toward what? You've got three names in three different sectors. Okay, so so the idea here is you know me well from Magnet, and now with Facts, we bring in even corporate governance as well. So the key is what you really want to do is find companies that trade at a discount to their growth rate, but have revenue, growth, and momentum. So Liz, I'm not talking about sitting it out and uh, playing it ultra safe. We, we, have, we make good returns, but if you don't have the margin of safety, you're in trouble. Every company we have, so Microsoft, Broadcom, these are all leaders in their industry. They have a combination of things, growing revenue, growing margins, growing cash flow, good corporate governance, and also importantly, institutions are piling in so the individual gets air behind their wings. Okay, um, you know, we're looking at names like Microsoft. You're calling that milk toast. It's had an incredible three-month run that we're looking at right now. Well, well, not milk toast. By the way, Liz, I talked about this company with you years ago, and, and everyone wants to talk again about the FANG stocks, and there's a place for FANG. Um, Microsoft's in, you know, a, another category. The price to sales, the price to earnings, the price to cash flow is different. And so I think there are companies right now with super high multiples. I, and I'm not saying they're not going to work out in the long run. I just feel like you could have a margin of safety and get these great returns that Microsoft and our other portfolios look like. So we don't have laggards. You're not sitting around waiting to go up. Everything has momentum, but it's, it's a garbage process meaning growth at a reasonable price growth at a reasonable not growth price. at a not growth at a hopeful price and too much hope right now is going to get you into trouble if any liquidity dries up Jordan Kimmel and, and Jordan and I go way way back we've seen many a record close and many a, a dumper <laughs> of a session but today it looks like three records in the row S&P 500 there we go. It is a gain of six, but we do have to maybe just put the caveat in there that we're not exactly sure because this could settle too close to call. But it is a record for the S&P 500. Disney earnings after the bell. Same with Airbnb. We've got wheels up tomorrow.